Since roughly 2014, the Russian information space has continued to publish articles that supposedly describe a next-generation interceptor that is believed to be being developed in the country under the designation MiG-41. At first glance, there appears to be a significant number of publications of this type, often presenting unrealistic claims about the combat capabilities of a nearly hypersonic aircraft. The subject has been a topic of media attention for more than a decade. As of early 2025, what is known about this project? Product 701, also known as the MDP project, is a late Soviet long-range supersonic aircraft that has received some Russian media coverage. If the USSR had not dissolved, the MiG-41 could have received designation by the late 1990s. The 62-ton aircraft displayed little resemblance to the MiG-25 and MiG-31 series and, based on its unique features, had the potential to become the most potent fifth-generation air defense combat aircraft. The team of developers aimed for a supersonic cruising speed of 2.2 Mach, approximately 2,300 kilometers per hour, and a range of up to 7,000 kilometers. It was expected that the aircraft's utmost speed would not exceed 2,500 kilometers per hour. Nevertheless, the stated maximum speed of the MiG-41 in 2014 to 2015 suggested that it was not a direct successor to the MDP, but rather a continuation of the MiG-25 and MiG-31 line. Although those aircraft were capable of reaching maximum speeds of 3 to 3.2 Mach, the MiG-41 is supposedly designed to exceed those limits by reaching speeds of 4.3 Mach, approximately 4,500 km per hour. Although the media has been briefed on nearly every defense industry development up until 2022, concrete information regarding the MiG-41 project has yet to be disclosed. The MiG Design Bureau faced significant challenges in the implementation of potential projects, including the MiG-29 and MiG-35 programs, which remain uncertain. There is virtually no discussion regarding the development of a new aircraft that will replace the MiG-31. However, the MiG-31s will start their retirement in the late 2030s, as their service life ends following substantial modifications in the 2010s and early 2020s. This raises the question of why Russia needs a high-speed interceptor in the future. The speed of interceptors as missile platforms is decreasing in significance by the 2020s. Why is this happening? Exorbitant costs are associated with the development of such an aircraft, such as the use of special alloys, the development of new engines, and the development of faster air-to-air -air missiles. Additionally, it would not participate in handling fast maneuvers like the Su-57. For example, the MiG-31 is capable of accelerating at a rate that exceeds that of any other combat aircraft in existence. However, it is not intended for highly maneuverable aerial combat. It is responsible for a swift dash to the target, the launch of a variety of missiles from a distance of up to 300 kilometers, and the return to the base. The MiG-31 is not well suited for close-range combat, as it is essentially a flying platform with potent radar and missiles. However, it can resort to its gun if necessary. Its maximum G-force tolerance is a mere 5G, which is nearly half that of modern fighter aircraft. On the other hand, the Su-57 is capable of performing comparable duties and, if required, engaging in close-range maneuverable combat. Furthermore, the Su-57's high-altitude mission speed, which attains a maximum of 2,600 km per hour, is comparable to that of the MiG-31. Furthermore, it is capable of supersonic cruise in contrast to the Soviet interceptor's subsonic cruising speed. So why has the Su-57 not totally replaced the MiG-31? The solution comes within the limitations of cost and production schedule. By 2028, 76 units of the Su-57 a new aircraft with highly sophisticated capabilities, will be in production. Meanwhile, more than 100 MiG-31s are still operational and are currently undertaking modernization, which is significantly less expensive. In addition, the MiG-31K version is a platform for hypersonic Kinzhal missiles, which enables the carrying out of strikes on distant targets without breaching the enemy's range. The development of a super-aircraft, with increased MiG-31 capabilities, 
even with a maximum speed of 1,000 to 1,200 kilometers per hour, as a weapons platform and radar carrier would be both impractical and prohibitively expensive. The development of a maneuverable super aircraft with comparable specifications is almost unimaginable. Is something currently under development? The appearance of certain information in official media indicates that something is indeed in development. For instance, Rostec's official website announced in January 2021 that the development of the next generation of interceptor aircraft has begun. The project for the Prospective Airborne Complex for Long-Range Interception, PAC-DP, is at the research and development stage. Rossiskaya Gazeta reported similar information in the autumn of 2020, citing MiG's director. The PAC-DP will be based on the MiG-31's concept. It is expected that development will continue until 2028. However, no official or credible source has confirmed whether this is the MiG-41 or its design. So far, the MiG-41 project has been primarily a collection of rumors and speculations regarding a concept for a future Russian interceptor, the prospective airborne complex for long-range interception. The aircraft's capabilities have been the subject of numerous unsubstantiated claims from 2014 to early 2025. Now, do you think MiG-41 is a real project or is a myth? Let us know in the comment. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.